Hello, my name is Lent, but you call me Lent, and welcome to this video. In this video, I will show how you can install shaders for 1.5 and which shaders I currently have um, because I used a um, German tutorial for it, a German video, and I suspect most people, most of my subscribers, don't know German. So, referring people to a German video would be kind of pointless. Nevertheless, it, there will be a link to the original video in the description, and you can click it, and I will just show. Um, I think which makes really this shader cool because I've never seen this before in particular. I just tend to do uh, what I did before, which is just install GSGL uh, shaders framework and then put uh, Zeus in as the shaders pack. But um, this is always kind of um, like what this this version does is different. Is um, I get a tab in the menu. Um, seeing shaders and I can select which shader pack I want to use and it's automatically switched you can see it in the background um, it has um, only Sonic Atlas uh, shaders that I think you can probably add more um, these are just uh, compressed folders in a special uh, folder that need to be put in the Minecraft folder so we have version 10 build 6 and build 7 and uh, version 8 um, just the standard one and one without motion and the standard one if you move fast from left to right you see that pixels kind of blur together um, and if we do the no motion one uh, this doesn't happen I'm not sure if you can see it really clearly in the video if it's on a smaller view but um, yeah you, there's a little this is a slight difference and you can also turn it off if you really need to get better frame rates for some reason um, so yeah, I think this, uh, this is really cool and um, I will just explain how you inst can install this. Okay, so the links in the description uh, will give you f various files. You will get an Optifine 1.5.1 uh, called HDUA8. I'm not sure what that does, but it is important that you have this version of Optifine. You like I went in the Optifine topic in Minecraft forum and uh, got a different version. It doesn't work with that one. Uh, with uh, it didn't work with the other version I tried. So you need to use this one. Um, there is will be a file called Shaders Mod uh, MC 1.5.1 and um, Shader Pack by Crafting P. Um, and well you can install this just as any other type of shaders uh, we need to go to the micro folder which you can go to by um, doing uh, in windows percentage sign up data percentage sign to enter and you select dot minecraft folder and this is the minecraft folder where you put all your stuff um, so there's a folder called bin we are just going to open this uh, right click on minecraft this is an ex executable jar file to right mouse and we're going to open this with I use WinRAR I'm not sure if it can be done with WinZip um, if you don't have WinZip or WinRAR I suggest you get WinRAR because WinRAR can use uh, can open zips as well but WinZip can't do the same for RARs so um, you would either need WinZip or WinRAR or 7-zip I guess uh, but I personally don't you have never used that anyway we're opening this I open this with WinR just to see what is in this .jar file. Um, so here we have a bunch of files. This is just a Minecraft jar. This is kind of the actual game. Um, and I'm going to open. First, you would need to put in Optifine. So I can just s drag the windows next to each other, and I would need to select all of these contents in this folder just by Ctrl A and drag. Uh, just by keeping the left mouse button pressed drag them all in here and uh, I'm not going to do that because this is my Minecraft jar and I already installed it but you will just leave this and um, it will ask if it's okay to drop it in the folder and you press ok and then you can close this window next up you're going to add do the same for the shaders mod the contents you will drag into the dot mod in the Minecraft jar folder and uh, what we're going to do after that is uh, we're going back to the micro folder um, and we need to make a new folder here called shader packs and in here we drop the contents of the of this uh, compressed uh, file uh, called shaders packs 
because if we open this there are more compressed files in and these are the various shaders in their, in their compressed form and you drop these in um, in a map that you've just made called shader packs and after that you can go in game and just use it the same way I did um, and yeah so you can easily toggle between various um, shader packs and version 10 for example uh, has both as uh, as better water, um, but it also it's kind of a frame rate killer. I my preferred shader is um, just version eight with motion blur, because um, if you're going to make a fast movement, then it just I think it looks a little tiny bit better. I don't think it takes away frame rate. So um, that's my personal favorite to be used. In in my previous videos, I used version nine of the shaders. Um, but version 8 I think is pretty much the same and it will do just fine so yeah I will, um, this is kind of how you install the shaders and you like you've seen the effect in game um, I've shown it so um, yeah now you can people can stop asking me where did you get your shaders wow so um, yeah this is how you can install the shaders and uh, I want to thank you for watching this video and have an awesome day